Today I will show you how to turn this small toy action figure into something much better like this photo right here. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymar and welcome to another fun Photoshop tutorial. As you can see right here, I have this really cool small toy action figure. It's really small and this is actually Omega from Fortnite. Fortnite is a video game, really popular. I never played it, but I saw this in a toy store when I was last week there uh, buying this car that I did for a previous tutorial. So I saw this toy and I was like, wow, this is really cool. I can make something out of it. So today I will show you how we can turn this into really cool, even a poster for a video game or whatever, really cool photo. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, we are here in Photoshop and this is a photo of that small Omega action figure that you saw just a few moments ago in my hand. And if you look at this photo, it's nothing special actually. Even if we zoom it, you can see it's made in China, you can see some letters, you can see the plasticky texture, so it's nothing special, not eye-catching photo at all. And that's because I took this photo with just one light source in the front of the model and this is how it looks. But it can be much, much better if we just change the position of light source and even add another light source. So this photo, it's much more eye-catching, uh, dramatic, more pleasing to the eye and it's exactly the same action figure. Even the action figure itself looks like a much better build quality. And I took this photo with again one light source, even if you can see it's lit with two lights, one from the front, one from the back. And I did that using one light source and the technique that I showed you last week, in case you didn't watch my last week tutorial, check it out because you can use just one light source and create a multiple light source setup. Actually, you can create as many light source setup as you want using that cool technique. So here I position one light source from the front and the left and then another light source from the back and the right. And this is the photo that I got. So really, really cool. The next step what I did here is just use the pen tool and trace the model all around and extract it out of the background and this is what I got. And then I added just one background behind the model and as you can see this photo looks much much better than the photo we started with this flat light plasticky action figure model. So this is really cool. Now what we will do to make this even better is to make all those red parts, you can see the helmet part, arms, here, here, everything that is actually red, we will make it glow because this Omega action figure, everything that is red is actually glowing in the game. So how to do that? There are several ways how you can create a glow effect. I show you a few of them in my previous tutorials, but today I wanna to show you something special. I wanna show you one way how you can add realistic glow effect using one really cool plugin that my friend Mario made it and he invested a lot of time and effort creating this plugin so I really love it and I want to show you guys that this is not a sponsored video this is just the plugin that I really like it and I want to show you here so first what you need to do in order to create really gl uh, cool glow effect with that plugin is to paint with the white color everything that you want to glow so here everything that is red I will create a new layer choose white color, choose a brush and just paint like, like this. I will just paint everything that I want to glow with a white. So this is it. And I don't want to waste your time. I already did that before. So I painted everything that I want to be affected by glow in white. And then what we need to do is just go yeah, let's, let's add a shadow. So I just paint a shadow, just a simple shadow, nothing special. So now what we need to do is to go to this Oniric plugin, which is awesome, realistic glow generator, and I will just press generate. And the plugin will automatically merge all the photos into one layer and open this plugin, as you can see here, view. And here the fun starts. We have a lot of things here. It's really awesome. You can see already everything that is white, it's glowing and it's glowing white. So we can change to any color that we want. We can even add even more things in the background or foreground to glow. Let me show you that. First of all, we have here the intensity 
of the glow so we can change now it's 100 i really like it we can set the radius we maybe want just less radius of that uh, glow or maybe more of the glow to spread that glow effect now as you can see it's more spread it out so i want maybe somewhere around 14 or so and uh, then what we have it's a threshold threshold is really powerful slider because here you can click on x-ray and see everything that is green will be affected by a glow so if we lower the threshold you will see that these parts from the background will almost vanish because they're not 100 percent white color if we increase the threshold slider it will include more brighter parts of the background and foreground that the glow will affect so you can see this is preview before and after the glow it's affecting this but also we can colorize it so if you click on the color right here we will have this really cool color glow effect but i don't want the threshold to be so high so let me see i want something like like this maybe yeah this is perfect also if i want to exclude this out i can do it by just going to the mask so i can say okay i want to mask this out and uh, now i can just paint on the parts that I don't want to be included so I don't want this or this or whatever and I don't want this part right here to be included and everything that else is pretty cool and I want to invert the mask because everything that is red will actually be included so just click here in invert and now press apply and you will see that the background will be excluded if I go to x-ray there are nothing else except the model included in this okay now what i can do i can play with saturation i can play with lightness lightness i can change the hue actually the color of the glow so this blue color is really cool but i want something like this and uh, also what i can do i can play with the exposure so maybe i want to add the exposure to make it even brighter glow so you will see this is awesome but of course it's too much but there is an option to do it so I will go all the way back to the zero for this example and also that's not it you have another cool way to add a glow you, you can add actually a light streaks so this is really cool and useful for so many effects in photoshop and here you can change just from from uh, diffuse to streaks and you will get something like this you can change the angle so you can rotate this also you can add not just two lines but you can add four here and it will intersect like 90 degrees angle like an X you will see in a moment this is cool so you can add that and you can change the um, streak details so let's go a little bit up to see more details will be included in the light streaks or something like this and so on and so forth so you can play with this but I want to go back to diffuse and also I want to reset everything you have that button right here if you want to reset everything so this is starting position i want to say i want to colorize when you press reset actually the layer mask stays and if you want to delete layer mask you need to go to mask and just delete layer mask right here so this is this is the way okay so now this is included because i deleted the mask i want to create a mask let me see just to paint back things invert apply and if i want to edit the mask because i forgot this part right here i can just go here add it and just just with the eraser just erase this thing say apply and this is it this is really cool way to add a mask inside this uh, oniric uh, glow generator so this is pretty cool i will just change the color a bit add a saturation all the way up and i will say save and this naming is really cool because you can create as many glow elements as you want and you can always edit every single of them separately so and now if i want to edit a glow element that i created i can just click here edit element and it will take me back to the previous screen i can change every single slider again because it's non-destructive glow generator it's really really cool and here it's added as a smart layer smart object if you double click on that you can see we have a mask we have the threshold range we have the effect overall and the photo back so let's not save this and also we can change the color without going to 
the oniric uh, screen just by adding hue and saturation adjustment layer and just play with any color that we like here. So I like something like this, a little bit more towards the red, and this is it. Now what I will do here, I will add few elements just to make this photo a little bit better. And uh, first I will go and create a new layer, go with white color, soft brush, okay, 100% opacity, and I will just create some light here, okay, something like this. Let's actually go with this brush, like maybe something more like from here to here, and then maybe from here to here, one little bit thinner, something like this, and maybe we can make one like that. And why not? Let's make another one here that goes right there. Okay, now I will blur this. I will go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and a little less. Something like this looks cool. I will add a layer mask here and I will mask out all the parts that I actually don't want to be visible here. I don't want this light to be in the front of this rock here. So I just want to be behind that. And also I don't want to be here. So let's delete this. And also I don't want to be in the front of the model, but that's not a problem because I will just go and put a light put a layer below the model so it will hitting some somewhere there hitting below the model this is what I'm talking about so I'll put a light right here and it's behind the model and I can just go and fix a few things here like that if you don't like you can always change the position of light draw it again and so on and so forth I will lower the opacity just to have this really cool light rays going through this part of the photo so this is before this is after i really like it and now i will add some smoke so i will add one smoke element in the front of the model and let's rename this to smoke number one and for this i will use my custom made smoke brush and you can purchase the whole set of this custom made cloud dust smoke brush on my website for just one dollar you have the links down there in the description or you can create it on your own watching my tutorial that i did a uh, long time ago, you can find the link right here. So I will use one brighter color and uh, black will be darker color. So I will just paint smoke right here in the front of this guy. Then I will switch to black color, just add a little bit more smoke here, just a bit like that. And also let's add a layer mask and remove some smoke from here, okay. And then I will add another layer and actually I will hold Alt and Option key and duplicate this layer mask, Control or Command I to invert the layer mask. And this is smoke number two, actually the smoke behind the model. And I will just create the smoke right there. Something like this, it's pretty cool. So let's see, yeah, not bad. Always, you can always reduce the opacity. And let me see, before the smoke, after smoke, I really like it. It adds that uh, haze element to the scene, which I pretty much like it. And now what we can do, we can merge everything together into one layer, shift control alt -E or shift command option in a Mac, go to filter, camera filter, and just have fun there, add a final color grading. And then we will maybe go one more time to an Eric to do one more thing. So here, what I like to do, I like to add vignetting like this, feather it a little bit, maybe it's too much, something like that. Then let's go all the way up. I want to add a bit of contrast, like brighten the shadows, add a clarity a little bit, lower the texture just a bit, a little bit, maybe add a haze like that. And also, let me see, let's go down to split toning and add the bluish tint. So I don't want like that. I want to last just a bit, maybe like this. And also what I like to do maybe to go to the cool temperature overall. And this is not bad at all. Just to see, maybe this is too much. 
let's leave it like this and also we can add some grain because I like to add sometimes grain here I think it's cool just a little bit not like this it's crazy but just a little bit and uh, also what we can do is to sharpen this a little bit so by masking out the background this is cool I'm holding alt or option key here to see what what will be affected by sharpen uh, slider and this is basically it so let me see before and after I like it let's press ok and this is this is it now I will go one more time to oniric let's say generate and I will add just a little bit more glow to the background and this will be again now we can play with few things first let me show you we can mask we can add a mask and I just want my regular brush smaller and I can mask out all of these things the model I don't want the model to be affected at all so this is cool I will also mask out that part and that part and as we said I want to invert the mask say apply and now play with the threshold so let's go to x-ray and boost the threshold and see what will be affected from the background so this is not bad let's go back and let's see before and after I really like it you can boost the exposure and have some really crazy effect like these are I don't know oh, this is too much like the eyes surface that are reflecting the lights so badly so like mirrors or whatever so this is this is pretty cool but the point here you can have a lot of fun with this really cool plugin so I will actually go with exposure all the way down yeah definitely all the way down just to have a subtle result so before and after and also I can go with the intensity a little bit less here because here I find it too much so before and after I will click save and name this background and here it is this is before this is after adding this really cool subtle glow effect on the background and we are basically done what we can do we can add some text right here so I'll press T on the keyboard choose the font actually I already have it this is this is the font that is similar or actually the same like a Fortnite video game for font like that I will make it bigger Fortnite and actually I will let's make it center like that and I will make it white color so this is cool I will double click on the font just to add a little bit more glow to the font we can do it with the oniric plugin but uh, here I want to add this outer glow as you can see right here this is cool color it's similar to the model down below and that's basically we can change from screen to color dodge if we want something like this which is not bad at all let's press ok and we are done so what we woo, where are you going so what we did we started with this crazy stupid photo of a model just lit in from the front you can see it's nothing special if you just lit in the model from two different sides front and right and back and left or opposite however you want that crossing light uh, setup you will get much better result we added this really cool glow with the oniric plugin if you want to check out this awesome plugin you can find the link down there in the description and also we just added a font overall color grading so this is it one more time crazy stupid light much much better overall effect and i really like this photo right guys so that would be it for today i really hope that you like this episode and that you learned something new cool fun and interesting out of this one in case you have any kind of questions regarding to this episode please leave them down there in the comment section below i will be glad to answer it also guys if you want to support me to help me to make this channel even bigger and better you can do that by visiting my patreon page the link is down there in the description and you will also get some things in return like this psd file and my other PSD files from my previous tutorials and so on and so forth. You can check out the Patreon link down below. Read guys, that would be it. Have fun experiment and see you in my next fun episode. Bye bye.